Hi, this is a follow-up video to my previous unboxing video of the RoboSoul CR6 Hexapod. Now, as you can see, I have laid out all the components here after unwrapping them. These are the servo controllers. This is the original 20-channel servo controller that comes with the kit. And this is the 32-channel servo controller which I bought separately as a backup. And they are all manufactured by this company called Lobot. Now you may find that it is funny but I actually did a Google search. There is actually a site called lobotrobot.com and uh, okay jokes aside uh, for these controllers they actually use uh, mini USB cables as opposed to micro USB cables. Okay moving on to the frame uh, these are the tibia brackets and frame so I guess they put a lot of emphasis on uh, uh, the tibia part of the legs uh, requiring four parts for the assembly and for the femur they actually make use of the servo to form the femur and for the coxa this is pretty interesting they sort of like fuse two u-brackets together and uh, to form the coxa junction and coming over here these are the uh, body plates as you can see uh, the scratches here you know? um, so my hexapod actually had battle scars before even going to battle <laughs> now here are all the uh, servos the digital servos okay uh, 18 of them will be using to form the legs and I have 5 of them spare uh, this is the LDX218 uh, robot servo and uh, quite thoughtful of them they provided some uh, cables of different lengths 6 for the coxa servos and 12 for the femur and tibia uh, joint servos and uh, this is the PS2 controller with the receiver itself uh, as mentioned earlier missing Sony logo so not the original and still can't figure out what is this uh, need to do some reading later and that's the some cables uh, cable holders and the light polymer battery charger okay. now uh, there's something that you need to know uh, according to the seller if uh, you want if you would like to use other servos other than the LDX218, uh, for example, if you want to use the MG996R servos or their LD2015 servos, you will need something uh, like this, a buck chip. You'll need a buck chip. Okay. Uh, this is to ensure that the uh, power or the current from the batteries do not blow your servos okay so uh, according to them this LDX218 servo uh, has some chip built in that uh, allows you to use without any bug chip so that's uh, one thing that you need to know and the other thing I discovered is all the documentation is actually in Chinese so if you are not able to read Chinese like myself you will probably have a hard time trying to understand uh, what are they trying to say right so uh, it, I think it will probably take me some time to uh, figure out how to uh, get this up and running uh, until then I hope you like this video and uh, do subscribe thank you